this video shows you how to use two fairly useful DOS based command prompt commands to troubleshoot your modem. Now, first we want to start at the state where everything's working okay. So I'm going to go into Internet Explorer. I double clicked it. My default home page is Google, and we see that it's there. I'll Google nothing for right now. Close this down. Okay, now, for some reason, who knows, maybe your child did it, or a cat, or whatever, disconnected your modem, power cable, and or uh, power source. So there's my modem. Everything's working, hunky-dory. Turn around. Oh, a cat pulled it out. Oh, someone was trying to use a router or connect things into a router. That'll be another video. Okay, so now that's disconnected. Now let's reconnect it. Okay, reconnected. Now we see the blinking lights on exactly the same. Hmm, something happened. What is going on? Your modem is trying to find the internet again. So let's give it a little while. Give it a few seconds to try to find it. Two blinking lights, three blinking lights, four blinking lights, five blinking lights. Oh, and look. The cable activity and the PC link lights are blinking just like they were before. So I should be able to go into the internet, right? Let's see. Double click on Internet Explorer. Connecting, connecting, connecting. Hmm. Looks like there could be a problem. Connecting. Internet Explorer cannot display the web page. Well, you can try. Diagnose connection problems. No, thank you. I know what to do. So let's close this down. Click on the start. Down at the bottom of your, in my case, Windows XP. And we want to click and choose Run. Now, what I already have typed in there, but you could just type it in freehand, is Command. Command is short for Command com, which brings you out to the scary DOS world of a black screen. So let's see. So here we are. We're out at the command prompt. Now what we need to type is ipconfig forward slash release. So let me try that. ipconfig space forward slash release. R E L E A S E and press the enter key. There, so it just released everything. It didn't find anything, but it released anything if it would have been pointing to a certain spot. Now the next command, which is the important one in this case, is ipconfig forward slash renew. I P config C O N F I G space forward slash renew. R E N E W and press the enter key. What do we see? Oh, look now. Now we have our connection specific DNS suffix, our IP address, our subnet mask, and our default gateway. Don't really need to know what those are, only that up here there was no IP address. Okay? You need an IP address to connect to the internet. Okay, so we're done with that now. Let's exit out. E X I T and the enter key. Now, I think we're going to be able to connect back to the internet. So we'll double click on the Internet Explorer icon and we have Google. We did it. Lohisimos. See you until.